Hi, everybody. I'm Mel Dore, Chicago Aloha Shirt Psychic, and I got Linda G in the house. Hi, Linda. Linda G. I'm good, my friend. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I think Mercury's retrograde, <laughs> I've heard. Is that what's going on? Because, oh, oh my God. I was my supposed to have a friend over for uh, today, just, you know, for a nice lunch. We hadn't seen each other in a while. And my poor son, Jacob, he, he was working in the field and got exposed to... Um, poison oak and since he was little he's so allergic and he thinks it's from the equipment because he was working as a uh land surveyor he thinks it's from the equipment he used to get cellulitis he gets so sick well that enzyme will stay on that equipment for a really long time so, so he needs we're gonna, we're gonna get him i'm gonna get him a box i think i have a box here of rubber gloves tell me get uh, allergy shots you can get shots for that yeah well we'll check into it I know it's something crazy. My oven, right? I tried to use it last night and for some reason it's on Celsius and I can't get it back to Fahrenheit. Uh, <laughs> so but... you got to sit and figure out what, <laughs> that's like me. It's that's like... like me. I mean, my stove is 25 years old. It's a KitchenAid. It's a good stove. And it's I mean, a good stove, yeah. it was top of the line and I, you know, all the controls are on front. So you have to reach over a hot stove. So I don't know. Um, if I can't fix it, I guess I'll have to get a new one. <laughs> so everybody, we know about Tucker Carlson. Yes. <laughs> um, I've gotten hundreds of texts, uh, emails, etc. Can you put me on hold one second? Uh, yes. Hold on. Give me one minute. Did you hear my door? I we're back. Technical issues. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So we were talking so we were about we're talking about C Tucker Carlson. Well, you know, you and I had said a long time ago that we saw him off Fox News. My guys have been showing me that from day one. For and a long time. Here we are. <laughs> let me get let me give you the hit I got. First of all, Murdoch's thinking about stepping down too, which is weird. I felt Murdoch and the, the big people with Fox News are looking at a board and they're writing out a game plan of how they're gonna change the way they do news on Fox. Now, you know, Steve Bannon is ca calling out for everybody to stop watching Fox News now, because you know, Tucker was their main person. Right. Tucker Carlson left, but he left reluctantly. I don't feel he wanted to leave. But apparently that producer has something to do with this. I don't know, it's because they feared what, what more she's gonna say, but that producer has something to do with this. And I, I also fear, not fear, I also think he's going to be sued on his own. I think Jean, Jeannie, uh, Judge Janine or whatever her name is, will be oh, going. Oh, she's in deep trouble. I see, I see Maria Barta, whatever, going. Um, people were asking, uh, but what about that uh, Laura, whatever her name is? Abraham. Yes, I think, she'll she'll I think she'll leave. They're not all going at once. They're spreading it out. But I see them with this board coming up with a new game plan and Fox was, is going to lose a lot of money. Well, plus there's more lawsuits against them. There's another company suing them. And I, my feeling is that company is going to win. I and, know they are. And yeah. Fox might try to settle out of court. But I also think that some of those people... Like Tucker, Judge J, not Judge J, J uh, whatever her name Janine. is. Janine. Right. Uh, and even Laura, Laura I, I had a funny feeling they're going to be sued as well, individually. Yeah. So I, I wrote down here, you say Murdoch stepping down, but you know, we've said all along, even Kevin said it that, and you said it, I said it, a lot of us have said it, that Fox News will, that that network will be breaking up. So I'm just wondering if he's stepping down or if they're thinking about selling it. Maybe. Something's happening. Something's happening because years ago when I first started reading, I said, eventually Fox will become something you won't even recognize. That's what it'll I said. Be, it'll be truthful. <laughs> Correct. Well, that's, that's an oxymoron for them. Yeah. They'll have to change it. And Don Lemon was let go from CNN. Yes, he made some disparaging remarks about women or something oh i didn't know 
Yeah, and it didn't get let go. I don't know what the remarks were. I don't really watch CNN. Hmm. I'm sure another network will pick them up, but I think Tucker Carlson's done. Unless unless Steve Bannon and Donald Trump and all those start some kind of MAGA network. But I doubt Trump will ever hire Tucker Carlson because of what came out about Tucker thing. Carlson yeah. said about Donald Trump behind the scenes. How, um, Trump tried to start a, some sort of media station. Oh yeah, no, he worked. He had Nunez, the guy, the the representative, being in charge of it. And I said, well, that'll that'll last about as long as the snowball in Hades. And here we right, are. Right, right, yeah. Uh, but I feel Tucker Carlson being mad. Should we? Should I take a quick look at the outcome for Tucker Carlson? Oh, I can tell you, he's he's as mad as a wet hornet. But nobody's going to want him after this. But he has enough money. I see him talking to his wife, and. Because they're saying he retired, but he's still young. Um, he didn't retire. He's we always all... trying to reinvent himself. What's the outcome for Tucker Carlson? So thank you guys. I can't tell you how overwhelmed I am with all the messages. Well, nobody with a half a brain is going to support him. No, he's very disappointed. Very disappointed. But he's kind of acting like he's glad to be out of there. Well, that's his facade. Okay. But but he's still feeling victimized. Yeah. I'm picking up. They're giving him a little bit of a package, by the way. I'm sure. They don't want people to know about it. He's going to be stuck. He's not... This is in his hopes, dreams, and wishes, so he's not going to be able to get away with, with lying anymore because the light is shining on him. But they he's bought, walking away very upset. They bought him out of his contract. Is that what they did? Okay. That's what I, I also think. think that the, uh, the, the stockholders have a lot to do with this. Get rid of these people. They're a liability. Well, there's more lawsuits coming, like I said, yeah. against Fox, and those people are going to win. And more lawsuits against them individually, like Tucker Carlson. Um, he's, you know, he might have money, but people are, you know, some of those big companies are going to start to sue him. And guess what? <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is um, he wanted to get reporters fired that told the truth. Right. And then nobody's going to nobody's going to want him. I mean, any of the other networks are going to want him unless it's some kind of ultra right wing Christian national. Let me tell you, this is a message for all of us. Mind your P's and Q's. You have your physical body that if you don't take care of it, you'll pay and pay, definitely. And well, your spiritual body. And the more these people lie and deceive, the more negative energy is laid upon them. So mind your P's and Q's. Try to be as truthful as you can. Well, and it just shows that there is karma, which we've been saying for a long time. Mm hmm mm hmm I'm just wondering if he's going to be up for any kind of criminal indictment. I'm feeling that. I don't get criminal. You don't? Mm. I, don't know. I get lawsuits, but not criminal, civil. There's a lot of lawsuits. Um, yeah. I don't know. He might try other things, but... And if he tries any other documentaries, nobody's going to pick it up. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, okay. The other thing is... I just saw there's thousands of Americans trapped in Sudan. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, they got some people out. And they say the Russians are backing some of it. Go figure. I mean, Putin, go figure. Um, I, you know, I can't wait till we see the news when he's going to be gone. But um, it's really bad in Sudan. So, uh, you know, we're going to Africa in, in June, but we're not, you know, Uganda's down here, Sudan's up here. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. But um, still... Uh, people are being evacuated. So yeah. let's just pray a moment of silence that democracy wins out there, huh? <laughs> I know. Well, it's two people fighting against each other, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, Phoenix Rising in Florida wants to know any updates on hurricanes coming, especially for Florida. <laughs> oh, yeah. Florida's going to get hit. Um, okay, so Sudan, it's evil in there. There's somebody offering them something. There's some sort of offer here to keep them from, that they keep hurting themselves. The angel of light and mercy is with them. Um, I'm almost feeling like the Americans will get saved. I'm not feeling 
Armageddon for the Americans that are there. Okay, good. I'm seeing the um, breaking news. It said uh, something about the high profile exit is shaking up cable news as well as it should. Oh, read it, read it, read it. <laughs> well, it just says Tucker Carlson, Don Lemon out at Fox News and CNN. But there was a banner before that. And it just said high profile people leaving, shaking up um, cable news. So. The wow. Band. Yeah. Bannon told everybody no more Fox News. Who cares uh, about Bannon? Bannon needs to go down. Well, Bannon better be careful because Fox News will be suing him. Yeah. And they're going to win. <laughs> so anyway. Okay. So hurricanes for Florida. I see them coming. Do you? Yes, big time hurricane. This is going to be a big hurricane year. Okay, Hawaii Bound wants to know. Uh, Japan is planning on shooting down a North Korean spy satellite. Do you see any escalation in this region or with Japan? You know, can I tell you that whole organization there? There, there are a lot of talk. There are a lot of talk. Well, so I don't see Japan getting in trouble for doing that because they 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 have no right to be in their airspace. Tables turn, North Korea would do the same. Well, Japan's not afraid of North Korea. No. I think the Hawaiians are nervous because if North Korea shoots satellites, you know, I mean, shoots missiles, it's only like 20 minutes away. But I don't see Hawaii being attacked, so. No, I, I see, you know, they can take... If they do any aggressive move towards someplace like Japan, they can take them out in a twinkling of an eye. It's not a very big place. What I do see is the U.S. building up troops in South Korea and also a, a bigger military presence in Japan to send a message to North Korea, like in Russia, hey, back off. Back off. So, okay. Um, this is a good one. Sylvia Munoz, it's hard to say, Munoz, says, hi, Mel and Linda. What will happen with Hunter Biden this week? He's meeting with lawyers over his taxes. Will he go to jail for felony tax evasion? No. What about the IRS agent and the whistleblower? Are they, uh, and the whistleblower, what about, what about the IRS agent and the whistleblower? Are they legit? Thank you. So the question is, will Hunter Biden go to jail? No. I don't see him in jail. But what is this whistleblower thing? That I guess there was a whistleblower at the IRS. It was a, 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 an agent and a whistleblower. And they came forward and said that uh, something about Hunter Biden with his taxes. But it was positive for Hunter or negative? Negative. So it was, a, it was a Trumpster in there. Right. But they're trying to say it was tax evasion. I, so I feel this guy's story changes. I'm almost feeling it. I don't see him doing jail time at all. Okay. Oh, did you hear? He just did some big thing against Marjorie Taylor Greene. Who did? Hunter Biden? Hunter Biden. What did he do? She needs to stop lying about him. Oh, well, he's going to file a lawsuit against her and he's going to win. Yeah. And she got in big trouble because she called somebody a liar. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, she's, she's over the top. People are tired of over the top. As all this astrological stuff takes place, which Andre talks about, the truth is the is it's got the light on it. So these people that are undercover and lying, they're getting caught. Well, it's like Ruth Bader Ginsburg show me. You know, there was this dark light and this ugly dark hand, and it was it was dark and it was pushing back this little bitty glimmer of light. And the light got bigger and this darkness kept pushing it back and the light kept getting bigger and the darkness pushing it back and pushing it back. But the light kept growing. It was very slow growing, but growing until ultimately it took over the darkness. And that is the analogy that she gave me and that's exactly what's going on now. Yeah. Oh, Ruth did? Ruth did? Yes. When you did uh, after she had passed? After she had passed. I've been she's shown me that I talked about that, I think, with you before. I mean, she I mean, she showed it to me and I kind of I knew what it meant, but it's boy, it's really playing out now. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Um, all right. 
Uh, Sydney Downey wants to know, considering the recorded comments by Oklahoma sheriff and city officials about oh. lynching black people, whoa, hiring hitmen to kill POC and the never ending lies told about black people, will black people ever be able to live in the United States in peace? And the answer yes. is yes. Yes. Because people like us and a lot of other African Americans and LGBTQ and those of us who have been bullied and beat up and and our rights taken away are going to continue to speak up to make sure that we can all live in peace. Well, the thing is, is that um, there's only been 100 years out of civil rights. And that's not too far away, a step away from the days that a Black man or woman had absolutely no rights at all well the most frightening thing was though look at the progress that was made over the past 50 or 60 years and then trump comes into office and, and it goes right back years how it took us back even with women's rights and abortion how it took us back like that so yeah I see things being put in place my guides tell me by, you know, through legislature and laws and stuff like that. But the consciousness of the United States, you still have a lot of white supremacists. You do. But my but my guide showed me that there's going to be regulations put in place so that, you know, it'll protect women's rights and, per, and protect minorities. And then we'll never go back to what it once was. Oh, even that will definitely come. I don't know how many years away, but that uh, it's not going to happen overnight. We still got a ways to go, but this is just being regurgitated well, and in our face. Well, the positive change, because people are starting to stand up against how they're trying to suppress our voting rights oh. and rights of everybody. So anyway, all right. Paul Walker says, in 2021, Rachel Maddow asserted on her show that the COVID vaccine would prevent both contraction and transmission of the virus. Do you see her facing consequences for spreading misinformation? Well, number one, I don't think it was information misinformation. No. Uh, you know, it does actually uh, help to prevent people from getting it, or if they get it, it's not as bad, and also helps to keep people from transmitting the virus. And uh, she was repeating what the scientists were saying. Correct. So I'm not going to get in a whole vaccine argument with everybody, so please don't start sending me emails and texts because I'll just delete them. But, you know, I believe in vaccination. I've been vaccinated and I'm glad I was. <laughs> and listen, a lot of these scientists get the hits from the realm. How do you think we don't suffer with polio anymore and, or suffer with uh, measles, mumps and all this stuff that we give our children? That's why that that Robert Kennedy is just a, a goof. God bless him. I've and his own, his own family is against him. I mean, I've had polio vaccine. I've had hepatitis A and hepatitis B vaccine. I'm going Me to too. Africa. I had yellow fever vaccine. And thank God, you know, my sister had a friend who had polio. And I know people who have, who have polio. And it's not pretty. No. And the vaccine stopped it. Look at smallpox, how they've eradicated that. So the vaccine. But they are- got a lot of these people that invented it, got it from the realm. Sometimes right. in their sleep, sometimes, but they right. helped. They help us help themselves. There's a story, and I can't remember where I heard it from. I think it was somebody on Twitter. when they, I think he was talking about the vaccine, and they are going on about the vaccine. He said, you know, that's like saying, I, well, I use, I put on a, 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 a rain jacket, but I still got wet. Right. <laughs> right. So, you know, this it's not guaranteed. And some people have bad reactions to the vaccine, which they didn't have until they got the vaccine. And I'm so very sorry about that. But some people got bad reactions to polio vaccine and smallpox vaccine and all vaccines. And there are some people for medical reasons who can't take it. I understand that. Yes, I totally understand that. And I get that. And, you know, if they can't take it because of medical reasons, you know, then I'm all for not taking it. But just to make a blanket statement that, you know, that was made, especially the misinformation stations and, and some politicians like yeah. Florida. <laughs> um, 
So. Well, you know, what's interesting. Uh, I was talking to our friend, Dan, and he told me, you know, he has, he's a teacher. And he said a lot of the students lost like four members of their family from this, from this uh, COVID. Oh, I know. They were all shut down in one house and everybody got sick. I know people who lost loved ones due to COVID. It's not... Yeah, I lost a cousin. There you go. So, all right. JB says, hi, dynamic duo. There has been an outbreak of this of Hyundai and Kia cars due to their failure to install an engine immobilizer, which will prevent the car from starting during attempted theft. What will be the outcome of this? Sadly, this happened to me, but I caught them in the act. Oh, good. I'm glad you caught them. And they ran away, not before causing a lot of damage to my car. I've also heard that insurance companies such as State Farm and Progressive will not insure these cars anymore. What do your guides say? What kind of cars is it again? Uh, Hyundai and Kia. Why? Uh, because they because they can break in easily. They can hot wire them. There's the, oh. uh, it's like uh, they don't have the engine immobilizer, which prevents the car from starting during attempted theft. But I see that those two car manufacturers are going to be forced to put those uh, anti-theft devices in place. Yeah. Now, do other cars have that? The engine immobilizer? Yes. So how does it work? I don't know exactly how it works, but I know that if somebody tries to hotwire the car, it won't work. The it and won't. then I, I know there's some sort of tracking, like even the place you bought the car from can track it, see where it's at. Yeah, but once they break in your car, there's so much damage done to it, then they take it and strip it. So... But I do see, I you know, I think the government and, you know, consumer agencies force kind of forcing Hyundai and Kia to put those things in because otherwise people aren't going to be buying their, their products. Right, right. My guides tell me that they will take care of it, yes. All right. Are we ready for another one? Yeah. Okay. Kim Seven says... Hi, Mel and Linda. Love you both. New York Times reported that rents have increased by 700% here in New York City. Uh, Governor Hochul has been blocking any, legisla any legislation to help the housing eviction problem. Do you finally see anything passing, including housing vouchers? Wait a second. She's blocking what? It says that she's blocking legislation to help the housing eviction problem. In other words, to make it more affordable. Okay. And to keep people from getting evicted. I see legislation in New York that would help keep prices stabilized. You know, years That's ago- what I'm, I, New York has a lot of places that are rent controlled. Yeah, but I read a lot of people in New York living very well because their place is rent controlled. But I think they kind of did away with that on anything new. So now that the, you know, the, the rents are going sky high, but I do see another form of rent control coming in New York City. Maybe not like it was, but something to help make it affordable for people to rent. Yeah, yeah. What do you I think? think? I think I see them building more stuff too. Okay, me too, actually. And yeah. it's for a lot of people to own. I know even out here in California, there's some spots that they're going to even give, do a lot of homes for the homeless and stuff. Well, I think California is going to have to do something too, because a lot of people are leaving, going to other states, but now in those states, prices are coming up. So, yeah. I mean, you know, here, I mean, things are relatively reasonable. Yes. Uh, but uh, you know, Chicago used to be one of the most expensive places, but not anymore. It's what happened? I just think that, you know, um, because other places got more expensive and people moved away because of the cold weather, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> anyway, this is a good one. I love, I, every time I see her name, I just love this. Jitterbug Tutu. I just love I love it. that. I love that name. Okay. Hello, Ms. Linda and Auntie Mel. Will Cleta Mitchell be investigated and indicted for voter suppression? She's the one that says college students roll out of bed to vote and get back into bed with ease. Well, good. I hope they're voting Democrat when they roll out of bed. <laughs> it's so funny that you said that because I visualized her the other day. She will not be indicted, but it's going to be so tough on her. She'll shut the F up. 
Well, uh, um, you ever notice what happened? Because she's a MAGA lawyer, you know, but ever notice what happens when some of the ultra right wing Christian nationals get control, like that little bitty par partial of them controlling the house. But she's a lawyer. And I and as I was reading that, my psychic light bulb went on. And my guide showed me disbarred, disbarred, disbarred. She's going to get disbarred. She'll get in trouble with uh, her attorney license, but not. She won't be indicted. She won't be indicted, but she'll get disbarred. <laughs> okay. 1290LI says, question one, will, you, will New York City have an Asian mayor? Oh, boy. Will the New York City have an Asian mayor? I think at some point we yeah. had an Asian one in San Francisco. I think we have an Asian one now. Can think. Of. Hold on, hold on. Uh yes, I see. I actually see a male. It could be twenty years from now. I see an Asian mayor at some point. Yep. Yeah. Uh, question two: Will New York City become more subway accessible? I thought they already were. I thought they were too. I see public transportation more um, less expensive, and I see them really revamping their subway. So I, I see revamping what they already have. So I would think the maybe question, it's just really hard to take the subway because it's such a mess. I would say the answer to that is yes. I see it more accessible. Maybe she means handicapped accessible. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, A Y says hi, Mel and Linda. Will there ever be justice for Shanquila Robertson? U.S. citizen that was murdered by her so-called friends in Mexico. Yeah. I, I see indictments here and injustice, absolutely. I see a trial. I see them going to jail. Um, the big the big blue crystal. Oh, I like that name. The big blue crystal. It's like the earth. Uh, hi, Mel and Linda. The rental situation around the world is a disgrace. It feels like something is going to pop. Here in Australia, hi, Australia. She's from Australia. Here in Australia, our homeless numbers have increased and so have our suicides. So she wants to know if um, this this rental situation and the housing shortage is going to get better. And in I, Australia? It, huh? In Australia. Well, in Australia, but all over the world. <laughs> yeah, it will, but it's not right away. I'm so sorry. It's going to take a while. They're, right now, they're... Here's the thing. If you live rent free because of the COVID for a couple of years and they have to get you out because the landlord needs money to maintain and pay for the property taxes and stuff. I I don't understand why if you didn't put money away, why you couldn't just start paying your rent again. Right. I agree with that. I agree yeah. with that. But I think what she's asking is just that um the high prices and the the rental shortage there's just not enough places they for may have even priced them out so they might say okay you can rent again but it's going to be double exactly. the amount. yeah exactly so i do see i do see the rental shortage getting much better but it fe doesn't feel right away it feels like it's, it's going to take a while yeah it's going to take a while okay Carla Salaturo. She goes, hi, you magnificent beings. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. I was wondering why it seems more people are suddenly dying. Maybe they just think it's time to transition. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, there's a book by a doctor that I read years ago. I got to find it. I know if you try to buy it, it's like a lot of money online because it's out of print. But he had said when we transition into this new earth, there's some people are just going to decide to go. He said, you'll see a lot of young people, sudden deaths. He said, you'll notice that there's a lot of deaths. Well, she says uh, many seem to blame COVID complications and or the vaccine. I don't think it's the vaccine. It's not the vaccine. There is long haulers. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people died from COVID. And so <laughs> there we go. Right. But, um, I still think a lot of people just want to transition. <laughs> okay. Well, it's 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 definitely more peaceful there. But some people in this earth realm, it's really tough to be alive at this time. It's really tough. It's a hard world. Just turn on the news. Oh, I know. I'm watching it as we speak. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, says 58% of adults say abortion should be legal. And they got Mike Pence up there talking. Oh, my God. I know. 70% of this nation thinks that 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 a pill should still be on the table. I know. This is a good one. They don't know how to read the tea leaves. They just don't. Don't. Lady Day 58, this is a good one. She says, hi, Mel and Linda, question. Does Confederate General Robert E. Lee feel any guilt for the hate that is prevalent today? So many white supremacists carry the Confederate flag. No, General Lee's sister and her husband were on the Union side. You know, it's funny, when I was in Savannah, I went to a house, a historical house that was also haunted. And the bedroom there was... Uh, well, I got cold chills. Robert E. Lee had spent some a couple days there, spent the night in that bedroom. And when I looked in, I said to my guides and I said to whatever, how could he do this? And this immediate sense of dread came over me and cold chills. And I took a picture at that time. I got a big orb. So my feeling is he realizes. Oh, he's totally awake now. Right. He's totally awake. But remember the other day I saw Abraham Lincoln, General Grant, and General Lee. So he came forward too in trying to help the universal consciousness well, about this hatred of man. I'm sorry, I'm putting ice in my mouth because my tooth is like abscessed. <laughs> um, that whatever, what was it that Jesus said? Whatever you do unto your, to others, you do for me. Correct. So the whole key is that love factor. Right. Putting out kindness, even with the ones we hate, like Tucker Carlson, wishing him the best and moving forward. Know that truth will be lit up. There's an old saying that, you know, uh, that a lie will go around the world one and a half times while truth is still lacing its boots. <laughs> yeah. But the truth is coming out and the yeah. truth will win. Right. But uh, I get the, you know, I felt a sense of remorse coming from him. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Wendy Clark, Linda, you, you should, I'll let you answer this one. Uh, hi, Auntie Mel and Lady Linda. Lady Linda, I love it. Any possibility that Barbara Boxer will fill Feinstein's seat? She could slide into place and she knows the job, won't want to run in the next election, and is still sharp as a tack. Let me look. I don't know. I don't One. Barbara Boxer. I don't think so. Two. I'm not feeling it. Three. No, it's not her. I see somebody younger in there. Yeah. But do you think Shift or Barbara, um, the other Barbara is going to win Barbara Lee? I, I don't see, I don't see the lady with the board. I don't see her winning. It might be Adam Schiff. I keep thinking Adam Schiff, actually. No. This is a good one. DCS says, this is a really good one. Can you talk about the third party, about the third bipartisan party funded by Bloomberg and others with 70 million spearheaded by Manchin, Cinema, and Susan Collins? They plan to run in the next election as a third party and it is speculated that it will take votes away from the Dems and could help T to be elected. Well, you know, we've been saying for a long time that there was going to be the Republican Party would split and there would be like another party coming out of that. Right. It's not going to it's not going to stop the Dems from winning. No, because the Dems see Manchin as a turncoat in cinema as well. Uh, uh, see Enema. <laughs> see, she's going to lose the next election. So there's and Susan Collins really, I think people see her as wishy-washy when she goes, oh, he won't do it again. And that's my new impression of Susan Collins. And um, with Trump, and he did, I don't know where she stands on abortion, but um, um, I don't know. They can take, but you know, that could go both ways. When you were saying this to me, what I heard was untrue rumor. Okay. This is with raft that got through the system that people are hearing and it's not true but if it is the third party and my guide said there will be it could also take votes away from the republicans it could put the dems in power right so that was a good okay uh oh ron what ron brock says i love seeing you two together thanks ron thanks ron uh when do you guys see clarence thomas leaving 
Kavanaugh and Roberts. Thank you, Mel and Linda, for all you do for us. You're welcome. <laughs> I see. Well, I think Clarence Thomas is kind of trying to wait till after the election. He wants to wait till after the election. But uh, there's going to be so much more coming out about him. And I, I just feel that he can't look. There's something else coming out that'll cut him midstream. A lot. And so my feeling is Biden will be able to put a justice in his place. I see a screen, a TV screen, and I see like they did with Tucker Carlson. Like all of a sudden, it, it, I almost feel Thomas hospitalized or something like that. But it's like the beginning of the end. It's like one goes and then boom, another one goes and then another one. Um, obviously, I think Biden will. I don't know. If, I don't know if he puts somebody a, a, a justice in that's really way to the left, but I see him putting more of a moderate in. But that would still, uh, if Roe v. Wade ever came, Roe v. Wade will be reinstated. Yes, uh, codified. If, yeah. Correct. It will be, and so will, and so will gay rights, and so will a lot of other stuff be codified. So, um, it'll take a while, but I still see Kavanaugh gone. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. All right, he's definitely going. Um, well, what is it right now? Is it five to four? Is six? Is it six to three or five to four? I forget. Isn't it like six to three or something? Six to three. So then if Thomas leaves, it'd be five to four, uh, you know, Republican to, but then I see it switching the other way around. Okay, cool. All right. Ooh, peanut 20. I like that. Hi, peanut. Hi, Mel and Linda. Do you see if Jared Kushner will be investigated for the two billion he received from Saudi? There has to be a dark reason behind all that money. It's sort of going through now. Yes. I think the new House uh, Congress people kind of stopped it. Right. But it'll come back. He's going to be investigated. He will be investigated. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, we just talked about this, but Kathy Reagans wants to know, Hi, lovely Linda, my favorite Auntie Mel. My question is, will President Biden be able to appoint Supreme Court justices before his 2024 presidential campaign? One more. Then in 2024, he's got more to come. Yeah, that's what I think. One oh. to two, and then more and, after that, yeah. Right. Okay, Sheila Treasure Finder. Um, Oh, this is good. No question. Just want to send good, good, good vibrations. That's all she says. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. All right. Um, okay. This is another one from Kathy Reagans. Um, my question is about Ukraine being uh, inducted into NATO. Will it happen soon? I do see them going into NATO. The answer yes. Is yes. And I see the number one. So it could be one day, one week, when one one year. Right. Um, oh, uh, here again. Uh, my question is about Calif is about California. Is the drought over? Yes, right now it is, yes. I think it is. Um, and I think it's going to stay over. <laughs> I remember reading, you know, we were in such a bad drought. And I remember looking into my guide saying, oh, hey, you guys are going to get more rain than you want. And sure enough, boy, they were right. <laughs> Yeah, right. I remember saying that too. It's like, watch what you ask for. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, J.O. asks, are there any more Harlan Crows out there bargain shopping our federal government away? <laughs> oh, hell to the yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's like going to be really difficult to do that anymore, though. Yes, it They're will be. really going to put a clamp down on the Supreme Court for riff raffing with other people. I see legislation coming and guidelines coming that they're going to have to follow and they can't do that. And yeah. I also see legislation coming that's going to keep these big corporations from buying elections. Yes. Um, I hope no. I hope though not before <laughs> Florida and, because just Satan has really made Disney mad. You don't mess with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I love it. And people are just like walking away from him. They can't oh, no. stand the stink in the air. Why would you take on Disney? It's it's a vengeful 
got nothing to do with with what's happening. It's not even grateful that they pay so much towards Florida. He's not even grateful for that. Somebody asked a question here. Did I? I, I did. I, it's not in front of me, but did we hear about the new Texas law that's putting the Ten Commandments in the classroom and is going to uh, give st- students X amount of time to read the Bible? And I'm like, wait a minute. You know, here we go back 50 years. I remember when I was in grade school, public school in Kentucky, every morning the teacher would read the Bible and we had to do that for 15 or 20 minutes. And then somebody took it to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court said it's discriminatory. discriminatory. You can't do it anymore. So they're they're just, Texas is just trying to litmus test for all the And somebody will take it to the Supreme Court. Exactly. And the Supreme Court will say, no, wait a minute. I'd like to say, yeah, you have to, but they can't. They can't because here's the thing that they're also allowing that those, those states are also banning books. But if you're banning books, then you can't discriminate about what books you ban. You can't say, right. and, and all the ugliness in the Bible, it talks about murder and oh, absolutely. Blah, blah, blah. And, but the, the Bible's okay, but the rest of the stuff is right. So they're, they're, that's also discriminatory. Wait a minute. You just can't willy nilly say, we're going to have this one and not that one. Plus it's discriminatory against other people who might be Jewish, Hindu, Muslim, right. other religions. That right. mayor, that governor that's in there now, he's got some trouble coming. Oh, huge. huge. Uh, but I'm glad you saw it. Yay. I've been saying that he's got some trouble and it could be with uh, that child thing they're finding out now. Okay. Well, Lynn just said something here. She goes, this is a good question. What will be the result of youth not learning about slavery or not being able to read important books that have been banned in some states? Will these youth take on right-leaning beliefs due to a lack of accurate information? Um, the answer is no. Some will, but those these states are forgetting one thing there's the internet i know you can just take your phone and read up on things so all those all those books are going to be on the internet and right what i see is an increase in homeschooling because i I think a lot of parents are afraid of shootings exactly Exactly. so they're going to homeschool well i really think that the number of mass shootings in this country has really become a national health emergency exactly and i think that uh those those two guys that were expelled in tennessee now are back you watch they're going to run for high political office and win and they're going to be i saw that yeah they're going to be instrumental in bringing about gun control guys tell me that's right okay uh let's see uh somebody uh macarena toledo wants to know uh will china invade taiwan i don't see that I don't see it. I know they'd love to. They're looking at the chops, but no. China's okay. got some natural disasters coming up. China and Russia both. Oh, huge. I see like flooding and earthquakes. I see earthquakes. I see just thousands and thousands of people being misplaced. Yes. I'm, I, I, you know, I hate to see that happen to anybody, but this is going to happen in Russia as well. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I love chocolate asks, don't we all? <laughs> Hello. Um, what future do you see for the women of Afghanistan? For how long will the Taliban be in power? It's a good question. It's going to take another three years, but they'll be released from this cruelty that they're in. Well, I see them standing up against the Taliban saying, we're not afraid. You can kill us. You can try this. You can try that. But we're not afraid of you. And, and I see underground. So I don't know. There's groups of people, even men underground, that are going to fight the Taliban, something like that. You know, okay. I saw that movie that Guy Ritchie did, Covenant. Wow. It's a great movie. I got to see it. But I mean, it's going to be formidable, the people that it's I see. It's a true story, other. too. And my guys tell me the Taliban will be overturned. Yeah. All right. Um, Soul Shine. I love that. Soul Shine. Will the Democratic Party unite behind President Biden for his for his reelection campaign? Yeah, I think so. I I think so. A lot of them. There's nobody else. There's nobody else that can beat the losers that are coming in on the Republican side. I do not see a Republican winner. I know it's Biden. 
I don't see it either. I've, I've been predicting Biden for a long time now. I, I cannot change that. If I've got a different hit, I'd let you know. Oh, this is really good. Laura Wright asks, will Republican states be successful in closing poly pl polling places on college campuses? I no. don't think so. I don't. They might, but if they'll go to court, the court will say that no. Yeah. You can have the polling places there. Yeah. Well, that's what my guides tell But me. these young people will go in groups and go elsewhere and, and vote too. They're not going to be able to stop them. Exactly. All right. Um, I'm so lucky I get my vote, my voting in the mail. Yeah, we do too. Yeah, I love that. But I like to go vote. I just like to go and vote. I don't. I like to put the paper in the machine and watch it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like going to vote. I like doing it from home. Oh, you like doing it from home? Well, most people do. Yeah. <laughs> like doing it from home. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bad joke, Linda. I know. I can tell. Okay. Denise Stahl says, there are medications for all other forms of arthritis except osteoarthritis, where there would be another treatment for this soon besides cortisone injections. Oh, it's so painful. I know. I've had a few. Um, I, I see some sort of monoclonal antibody coming out that'll help. I, mean, I see some sort of pill, not an injection. I see a pill. Uh, you might have to give yourself a shot every week or something. I don't know. I see a pill coming in. Well, I it's, hope, I hope it's, it's new. Pill. It's probably another year or two, but it's new. It's coming in. You know, this abortion pill, these people messing with the uh, CDC, has pissed the uh, pharmaceutical country, they're, they're pissed. And so what happens is due to these people acting like idiots, where's your motivation to put more research money in? Well, you don't, you do not, you do not um, mess with big corporations like Big Pharma in this country or Disney. <laughs> or the NRA. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, the NRA, I see them taking their downfall. Yeah. See? I thought they were going to go down when they put Pepe Le Pew on trial for buying all that stuff, but, but it, I don't recall what happened, but nothing happened. Well, I see that they're going to be investigated for misappropriation of funds, and I see bankruptcy there at some point, so. Okay, cool. All right. Sweetie Darling Lulu. Hi, Sweetie Darling Lulu. Says, hi, Linda and Mel. Trump loyalist Boris Epstein... Ep Epstein, I think Stein, was interviewed for two days uh, by Jack Smith investigators, and Jack yep. Smith was in the room. Was was this strategy? Well, yeah. But... Everything Jack Smith does makes sense. Oh, wait. I mean, it. there's something huge coming. I mean, huge. It, I'm feeling it already. I think that Tucker Carlson started it off. Exactly. But there's some new stuff I see breaking, breaking, breaking. Yeah, it's simmering. I yeah. see it too. Uh, and this whole Jack Smith thing is going to be really huge. Yeah. And I keep seeing the Mueller report coming back out too, because I think yeah. Jack Smith is looking into that. Right. Well, he, you know, I see him talking to Mueller, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Diane Marie, this is a good question. Will public education continue to erode? Well, briefly, unfortunately. Yeah, like you said, there's a lot of people homeschooling. But I see it coming back up. And and will the U.S. get more divisive with homeschooling and less exposure to different viewpoints? Um, I see what they're trying to do in some of those ultra right wing MAGA stuff in school. I see that not holding up. Well, uh, they need to take gun control. People don't want their kids going to school if they're afraid they're not coming back. That's the biggest the issue. Is that? But she if says they, well, if they could be comfortable, maybe. But this is a lot of people are homeschooling. She says, "What happened to what happened to civics? I see civics coming back." Yeah, It'll well, take, and they're going to do education is going to go through within the next five to ten years a whole different way that they educate others. I've already asked this question, but it was Laura Wright. She said, Texas just passed a law that all schools must have the Ten Commandments on display 
and set aside time for students to study the Bible? Will there be a lawsuit to challenge Yes, this? absolutely, 100% guaranteed. Um, okay, ooh. Uh, Cherry Cat, <laughs> I like that name. Um, probably too late, meaning to ask the question, she said, but really want to know about Justice Alito. He actually scares me more than the rest. A snake yeah, that is dangerous. A demon. Right. What is his future? She wants to know. I don't see him stepping down. Mm -hmm. But I see him like a cage cat. Growling and hissing and fangs out. So I, I'm, I'm feeling like he'll be the one loose cannon in there. And everybody else is. So he's outvoted. Out, it, nobody's paying attention to him. But my guide just gave me this light bulb went on again, and it came through illness shall illness shall take him off of the court. But it's not right away. It's a couple of years. It's about illness. You'll see the change that happens. And then once again, his voice will not be heard. Illness shall take him off the court in three years. Okay. And three years. That makes sense. Right. Excuse Recent me a second. Oh, sorry. It's my cousin. She always calls me when I'm doing this show. I know. Okay. Um, here's all about Tucker Carlson, Don Lemon. Okay. We'll do another one and we'll, we'll exit stage left. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is good. What? Tacky F. <laughs> I like that. Hi, Mel and Linda. PolitiFact found that $61.3 million in revenue was collected from September 28th to March 16th for the Florida Disaster Fund. Of this amount, $22 million has been distributed and for entertainment purposes only. Why haven't more of the funds been distributed? The people in the area in the area where the hurricane hit really need that money. They need it, and they're taking their sweet time. And they do this everywhere, by the way, too. Because I think they're politicizing it. They're politicizing it, and they're just piecing it out. I just see like this. It's really a shame. <laughs> and that's not going to look and good. For, good luck with Satan, because he won't get uh, the votes he wants because, because of what he did to these poor people. That's right. It's not going to look good for the Satan, that's for sure. It's like those PPEs. Jared got uh, a big chunk of a whole bunch of people got millions from the PPEs when they didn't even use they didn't even need it. Correct. Correct. That's still not done by the way. There will be Oh no, money. they're going to be looking into that as well. Yeah. Because they're going to come up and say you got to pay tax on that money, you got to do this or return it. <laughs> yeah. So that's not over. Well, Linda, we've gone through almost 45 questions. Whoa, that was fast. Yep. Bing, 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 bing. And the winner is. And the winner is. <laughs> unless you, you unless you have anything you want to add, Linda. No, I just wanted that whole Fox thing to be gone. The whole what? I want it to be gone. What's that? The powder Christ will compare you. The powder of Christ will compare you. The whole Fox people, they need to go. Oh, the Fox people. I thought you said the box. I'm like, what? No, a no, Fox. That whole Fox thing. It's going to be a, this is what my guide showed me right back from the beginning, six or seven years ago. I said, Fox News will be a total, you wouldn't even recognize it. Like if I go in a coma now, wake up two years from now, it'd be like, oh my God, is that Fox? I don't even know if they'll have the name Fox anymore. If they don't go bankrupt in the process. Yeah. All right, my dear. Next week, your channel. All right. We'll see you next Monday. All right, everybody. Bye, Bye. everyone. Next Monday. <laughs> Cheers. All righty.